everybody! I haven't made spicy food for a while. Some of you guys are waiting for spicy dish. That's it! Today, I'm going to show you how to make spicy platter noodles. Jangbanguksu, cold spicy noodles served on a platter. Some dishes are trend. Decades ago, I used to make a jangbanguksu all the time, especially like a summertime. I used to make it because my friends are making and all the time Korean media talking about jangbanguksu. So I used to make it. But after that, just I forgot about this jangbanguksu. But jangbanguksu is so delicious and very cold and refreshing. Also, I add a lot of vegetables and spicy sauce and mix it together. That's very good. So I thought that, okay, this time I'm going to show you how to make jangbanguksu. So it's going to be very easy and quickly you can make. And also without using any sugar. My original recipe when I lived in Korea, made this jangbanguksu for my family, I all the time I added sugar to so make it a little sweet. I just developed this recipe without using any sugar. Using pear. This is an Asian pear, you know, Korean pear. I got this from the normal grocery store, you know, near my house. These days, the Asian pears are sold in America everywhere. They seem to know that you know, Asian pear is delicious. Also, this is also kind of a pear, and also pear, anju pear, bosco pear, any types of pear, but it should be sweet and ripe. I'm going to make for two servings. What we need is that just uh, I like to make a really nice, spicy and sweet and little salty sauce. So this is seasoning sauce base is uh, we need a pear. I need one cup of juice. This pear juice. Let's peel. And then put it in my food processor. This is a ginger I already peeled. Just one or two teaspoons of ginger. I'll just slice this. Let's add this here. Onion is this is a kind of a large size onion. I will use only quarter. This amount. This is my cotton cloth and then this empty bowl. So I will put this in here. I pour this, this through the cotton cloth and squeeze out so that I can make some juice. I wash my hands just now to be ready to squeeze. <laughs> and this is you know large cotton cloth and just to grab this together and like this and squeeze. Squeeze like this. Until this pulp is all give up all the juice. You see? I'll show you. Look at that. Yeah, like this. Look at that. Just only one tablespoon left over. Just one cup. Yeah, this juice is very clear. Color is a little greenish yellow. Really clear in you know, the juice we made. Mm. Sweet and also garlicky, a little gingery. So this is our base. I'm going to add hot pepper flakes and other seasonings. This is hot pepper flakes, gochugaru, quarter cup, soaked in this cold juice. And two garlic cloves, minced. I showed you so many different seasoning sauce, but this sauce should be a little thinner so that you can drizzle and mix easily. Soy sauce, one tablespoon. Salt, one teaspoon. Gochujang, Korean hot pepper paste, about two or three tablespoons. 
a little sweet and salty and spicy. We need some sour stuff, two tablespoons of vinegar. I will use white vinegar. You can use apple cider, apple vinegar. So this is spicy, sweet, and sour, and a little salty. Mmm, smells good. Nice. Isn't it cool? Because we didn't add any sugar. And the reason I made that at the beginning is that Korean hot pepper flakes need time to soak in this delicious you know, sauce. So I'm going to set aside here. And then meanwhile, I'm just boiling my water. I need to cook my noodles. This noodles is a Korean name. It's a memil makguksu. It's a buckwheat, buckwheat noodles. Buckwheat noodles. Color is like a kind of brownish color. And this is homia, white thin noodles. I used to use either one. So today I feel like using this noodles. These are hard boiled eggs, two eggs. For two people, I need eight ounces. This is eight ounces. Use your tongs or a wooden spoon, stir this, so that these noodles are not going to stick to each other. And I'm going to cover this half. Just it takes around three minutes when they are boiling, and then easily it's boiling over. So you keep an eye on this, on your corner of your eye, like this. <laughs> Tear this leathers, like this, and just a little amount, like this. Two matchsticks and tomato. And egg. Cut quarter. Cut in two quarter. Eight pieces. I just cook the noodles three minutes. So you can sample this and I'm just, I have so busy so that's why I'm using just the only noodle with my bare hand. But you guys can hold water in the, you know, put it this, use of cold water. Taste temple. Very good. It's a, a little chewy but well cooked. Okay. And then let's rinse in cold water. So rinse these noodles, cold water like this, and rub between your palms like this until not slippery. Very cold, cold and not slippery. These noodles, I will bring my platter, just a couple of minutes in the freezer to make it really cold. And some noodles. Spread this. This sauce is like thicker than before, but still look at that. It's flowing. And I will add eight ice cubes. And mix well to make it cold. And then fresh lettuce. I will add all this sauce. Like this. And then I will add cucumber and tomato, sesame oil, sesame oil, one tablespoon, and sesame seeds, about one teaspoon, egg. Jangbanguksu, we made it together. <laughs> so now let's mix all together. And when you serve this, just for individual plate, you need this. And napkin and chopsticks, of course, you need the chopsticks. And also, I use these tongs. Mix. 
Oh my, look at this. So that's why this noodle sauce should be thin. So easily you can mix like this. Let's eat. Okay. If you share this with three people, just bring three plates, three chopsticks. <laughs> Let's eat. Mm. Hello. Mm. So refreshing. That kind of seasoning sauce is so special. And also, last minute, I add you know eight ice cubes. Make this noodle so cold and sweet, sour, and cold, cold noodles. So yummy. And also a lot of vegetables. You guys can follow this recipe and make this for your family and friends. And share this, such delicious noodles. But these noodles are going to go soggy soon, so you gotta finish eating right after making. Just keep, keep eating. <laughs> Today, we made jangbanguksu, cold, spicy, platter noodles. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye!